Hello, my name is Amadou Kamara. I'm in my fourth year of the Octap Apprenticeship Scheme. Uh, the oil and gas industry is both a very rewarding and, uh, and challenging industry. You'll never get two days out of the same. One day I'll be working on jet engines or associated systems. The next day I'll be working on computer-based uh, control systems. So it's never a dull moment and obviously you've got phenomenal wages, incredible time off, so it's really good. Uh, a PITO and the Octap scheme, that's great as well because you can earn while you learn. It gives you that foot in the door, gives you that experience that you need to get a job, helps you break into the industry. My name's Robin, I'm 18 years old, I'm from South Shields and I'm a process operator. So the combination on the apprenticeship of both classroom work and the workshop work is you learn the sort of theory behind what you're doing in the classroom. Um, I do it at the beginning of the week and then by the end of the week I come into the workshop and we get taught how to do it practically and the understanding that the classroom work gives you compared to the practical go like hand in hand. I'm Connor Snedden. I started off an uh, instrument technician. Uh, I applied through their online website, uh, did 21 months at college in Edinburgh and um, uh, just finished two years offshore. Uh, my daily routine starts at about half five in the morning. Uh, get up, get ready, have some breakfast, head down for morning handover about half past six. And we'll do a 12 hour shift, uh, meet up and do a handover about six, quarter past six, and a handover to night shift at that point. Uh, personally, I've never felt uh, lonely or exposed. Uh, I feel like you've got a great bunch of guys out here. Uh, you become friends, you can do stuff like uh, after shifts such as play pool, even just chat and even during shifts you've always got someone to chat to whether it's uh, just a bit of banter in the workshop or uh, out doing a job. I'm Lee Irvin, I'm an electrical apprentice for Acker Solutions. Not all oil and gas jobs are offshore. I work at the Shetland Gas Plant. We do the maintenance for Total. The first two years when we were at college we studied at uh, NC and at Hitch NC. Uh, the next two years on site I was working towards uh, SVQ3, which is a Scottish Vocational Qualification. The qualifications form part of the modern apprenticeship. Since it's such a globally recognised award, it really keeps my options open for the future. My name is Jess Logan, I'm 18. Being a female coming into this course hasn't really been a massive thought of mine, but they really, they are genuinely lovely up here, like they look after you and I think that's a massive change from where I'm from. Uh, so in the halls it's only women that are in a flat and only boys that are in a flat, so it's just me and my two roommates. In my flat there's five bedrooms, um, the lounge comes with a fridge uh, and a sofa. You have to do all your own washing up, which is a little bit rubbish, but you do get used to it. In your room there's a cupboard, uh, a desk, a chest of drawers and a bed with a mattress provided. You just have to buy your own bed in. My nickname up here is Batman. Uh, it stems from, I've got a Batman tattoo, uh, got Batman mugs, got Batman pyjamas. And because my roommate's called Robin, it's kind of stuck with a dynamic duo. Uh, my name's Rhys Ryan, I, I'm 17, I'm from Falkirk and I'm a mechanical apprentice for OGTAP. Obviously we get paid to be on this, this course which is another appealing part of the course. It means that you don't have any uni debts, it means you don't have to pay anything back once you're finished. Everything is paid for when you're up here anyway, so all the money that you make is yours to do what you like. You can just have fun with it. My advice for young people wanting to get into the oil and gas industry would be to absolutely go for it because it's an amazing industry and it's a side to life that not many people get to see. Um, being offshore, it's such an eye-opener to make, it makes you realise that there's so much more out there that you might not have thought of in possible careers. Oil and gas is um, all around the globe, it's not just the North Sea, 
Um, and especially with schemes like APITO, OCTA, PCITB, it's an amazing way to get qualified because you'll get paid while you learn. You get qualifications paid for you and uh, you'll get that experience which employers look for when they're employing people to work offshore. So absolutely I've not got one single regret about joining it.